Hey, it's Freya, and the week theme this week is bedtime stories. So the Brothers Grimm are pretty much the most well-known bedtime story or fairy tale writers um, in the world. We all know Snow White, and we all know Cinderella, and we all know Sleeping Beauty. However, the Brothers Grimm had a busy life, and there are several stories that they have written that are not so well-known, including one that I found today called The Salad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tell you a sped up version of The Salad because it's 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 kind of long and kind of wordy. Okay so a merry young huntsman was once going briskly through a wood um, and he met an old woman. The old woman asks for some food, the huntsman empties his pockets for her and then she sort of stops him and says thank you for being so kind I'm going to now reward you by telling you that there is a bunch of crows down the road who are hoarding a cloak and this cloak is a witching cloak. So she gets him to shoot one of the birds, steal the cloak and cut out the bird's heart because if he carries around this bird's heart, gold coins are supposed to appear under his pillow every morning. So he gets the cloak and he gets the bird's heart and he gets cashed the heck up and decides, I have no use for all of this money when I'm sitting at home. I'm gonna go out and explore and spend my bucket loads of cash money dollars. So he walks along the path and he sees this castle and in front of this castle he sees another old woman and quote unquote a very beautiful young lady. So he goes up to them and asks if he can stay in the castle because he can pay with his sweet coinage um, because he wants to get in with this beautiful young lady. But what he doesn't realize is that the old lady's a witch and both of them had been eyeing him and his magical cloak and bird's heart from a distance and had planned to steal them from him. So he stays in the castle for a few nights and he's basically so whipped by this young lady that the old woman can just steal the bird's heart every single day and get all of the monies without him even noticing at all. But that's not enough for the old woman so she gets the young lady to convince this guy to take her with the wishing cloak to this diamond rock where there's lots of diamonds and no one can get there because it's so obscure and within the elements. So he takes her to this rock um, and then the old lady which fairy puts him to sleep. They steal the cloak, bounce the heck out of there, and then the guy is trapped there with some giants. The giants say, oh, we, we're we not bothered to kill him because he'll climb up a mountain and a cloud will take him away. So he follows the giant's advice and climbs up a mountain and a cloud takes him away. So you may be asking, like I was, where does the salad come into this? There has been a complete lack of salad throughout this story. Well, here is where the salad comes in. The guy lands in a lettuce patch and he steals the lettuce and he eats the lettuce and he turns into a donkey. Runs around screaming for a bit and then eats another lettuce and turns back into a human. So what he decides to do is he decides to take a heap of the lettuce and go back to the castle and cover his face in mud so he's not recognizable even to his own mother. Knocks on the door, pretends to be a messenger from the king looking for the most perfect salad and claiming that he has found this salad but the son's making it wilt so he needs to stay somewhere. And the old woman and the young lady really want to try this lettuce for some reason. I mean it's the best lettuce in all of the land so why not? <laughs> so the guy says according to his plan, oh yeah you can have some lettuce. I have two heads of this lettuce. You can have one if you let me stay. So the guy and the young lady sit at this table and the maid and the old woman go off it to prepare the salad but they get so eager to try it before it's even prepared that they eat it on the way and turn into donkeys. The young lady's all like, oh where where are they? I want the salad salad and then the guy's like I'll go check where it is I'll go check where they are goes out sees the donkeys grabs the lettuce prepares the lettuce and brings a plate specifically to her saying oh I I didn't want you to have to wait here's some of the perfect salad lady eats salad turns into a donkey as well then the guy cleans his face and he's like oh freaking suck it mother frickers I am the guy who you stole shit from you're now donkeys then he takes them to a farmer and tells the farmer to beat the old lady like five times a day, beat the maid like twice a day, and give the young lady hay and not beat 
hub because he's whipped us. So he goes away and comes back in a few days and the farmer's all like, the old ones died. <laughs> and the other two are so depressed that they are going to die within a matter of days. So the guy's all like, oh, I feel sorry for you and the old woman was the one who really wronged me, so she's dead now, and gives them the good lettuce and they turn back into people. The young lady's all like, oh, I'm so sorry for stealing from you. Here is cloak, take back. My mother made me do this, but she's dead now, so it's okay. Then the guy's all like, no, you can have the cloak because I want to make you my wife, even though I just killed your mother and turned you into donkeys and got this random farmer to beat you up. <laughs> and quote unquote, so they were married and they lived together very happily until they died. So the moral of this story clearly is A, don't eat weird lettuce. B, maybe avoid cutting out the hearts of birds and just carrying them around because apparently people want to steal that from you. And C, the real way to get a super hot wife is to turn her entire family into donkeys and kill her mum. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or hey, you could also subscribe because that would be really cool. Let me know your thoughts, feelings, opinions on the salad or let me know your favorite bedtime stories. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye!